Oh, this vlog should be called, Why Am I Getting So Fucking Fat? <laughs> but it's not. Well, it's pretty obvious why. I mean, it's like very little movement and lots of eating, indulging wonderful yummy foods, treats and sweets and oh, that's why I'm getting so fat. But anyways, that's not what this vlog is about. This vlog is about speaking ill of the dead. Or this is called speaking ill of the dead. You always hear people like, they'll say, well, I won't speak ill of the dead. And it's like, why? You sure spoke the ill out of them when they were alive behind their back and stuff and maybe even to their face. I mean, now they're dead. They don't even care anymore. Like, it's a lot better speaking ill of the dead when they're dead. And this is the reason why. Did I just say that? <laughs> this is, <laughs> never mind. This is why you should speak ill of the dead. They're not around anymore to even care. Okay, that's one thing. Plus, they can't dispute anything you say. Like, they can't sit here saying, oh, that's not true. Like, you can say whatever you want about them. Not only do they not care, but there's no one around to dispute your claims. I'm serious. So, with that said, I am going to speak ill of the dead today. But not really ill, because it's more like mental illness. <laughs> In my family there's a lot of nuts but uh, yes I am going to be speaking of my grandmother my German grandmother on my father's side um, I'm not necessarily speaking ill of her it's just factual and I know she's not around to dispute any of these claims of mine but they're all true these are just memories of my childhood like with a German grandmother who uh, could be very loving but could also have that like German side of her that was very cold and very uncaring for instance one of her sayings was like, if someone came up to her and started talking about something that they had wrong with them like let's say I was a stranger or a friend of hers and I came up and I started talking to her about my current situation my broken leg right my grandma would literally say to people yeah, we all got problems. She would, I swear, okay. Here's another thing about my grandma. She was like, when you would go shopping with her, she would literally hit people with her cart if they were in her way. I'm not even joking. I am not even joking, okay. I remember one time I was so embarrassed because she pushed a little kid into an, like, you know, like, there's a display case and then it's kind of like an end cap my okay this kid was in the way my grandma pushed him into this he fell into the merchandise and he just looked up with this shock like did no real old lady really do that to me old ladies are supposed to be sweet you know what the heck was that so anyways i'm shopping with my grandma a lot of times i was like going like this or i'd be apologizing to people like sorry sorry <laughs> so anyways i remember one day we were like she was in a big time hurry she always was she was always in a big time hurry well she there was this guy in line in front of her and she he was just in her way so she just took her cart and pushed him in the butt you know nudged him with her cart more than a nudge i, I will say that um and the guy was like a big guy he's probably like six foot four or something like that you know i take notes of these things but anyways, uh, but yeah, he like looked back with such an angry look on his face like he was going to kick some butt. And then he looks down and realizes it's like this four foot nine lady. And he just, you know, shook his head. There's nothing he could do. I mean, he wasn't going to fight an old lady. So, you know. But my grandmother, she was a very, very colorful person. She really was. There, I, I could go on and on in stories about her. Oh, shoot. My husband went to the store and he forgot the grocery list, so that really sucks. But anyways, um, one of the things about my grandma was that she was a neat freak, okay? My grandma was the type of person that you could drive her crazy and push her buttons by doing some colorful type dirty things to her. And what I mean by dirty is... You know, I would like sometimes just cut my nails. I'd pull a, a 
that's when I, when I really wanted to piss her off is like pull a, a fingernail clippers out of my purse and start cutting my nails at her house oh my gosh but usually that was I saved that for if I was really mad at her if I was just semi mad at her I would take a piece of fuzz and like just take it and drop it in the middle of the floor just drop it you know and my grandma would just be looking at it and I'd wait to see how long it took for her before she would have to get up and go pick up that piece of fuzz and throw it away because it would bother her that much okay so you know when I was mad at her obviously I could find funny things like that to you know mess with her mind and drive her crazy and it's not it's kind of like passive-aggressive I guess people would call it uh, do you like my necklace look it's so pretty but uh, it's sparkly I can see myself sparkling but anyways yeah um, so like my because when I was a kid my grandma had the dust buster okay she'd have that dust buster out cleaning all the time she'd be up on the countertops on the table after we had a snack you know just dust busting the heck out of stuff she'd even dust bust you I am NOT even kidding you would go to her house and she had like a dining room with a huge wood beautiful dining room table and everything she has some nice stuff so anyways um like we would sit there and have a snack like she'd feed us a tuna sandwich or something right and my grandma too one good thing about her this isn't speaking ill of the dead she could make a can of tuna stretch for three kids and we could all have seconds okay my grandma knew how to make some things stretch okay slice up some pickles some onion make that stuff you know yeah my grandma was cool about that but anyways i digress so we'd be sitting at the table having a snack and when we were done we'd have to like she'd turn the chair around and she'd take the dust buster and she would dust bust us i've actually been dust busting people so she would take the dust buster and she'd dust bust you off and stuff and then send you on your way she was also famous for the spit bass we used to, we used to have this restaurant called dick's drive-in and we'd go there and have the onion burger which was like minced onion on a burger and then after my grandma would always in public give us a spit bath like we're little animals like we're little bears or something it was always so embarrassing plus then all day long my my face would smell like onion from a spit bath come here <laughs> I can get that and it's like no not in public and not with your onion breath please so anyways that's my segment about speaking ill of the dead which wasn't really ill it was just memories of my grandma so anyways that's what it is for today have a great week Tati is it coming up on? yeah have a great week and uh, see you guys maybe this weekend take care love you there we go <laughs> there are the dogs just in time now the dog is going to start ballisticking out. Really? Hey, Cheeky. Cheeky, come here. Oh, I got to have you guys see Cheeky. He's such a good little boy. Oh, he's such a good little boy. You're a star, Cheeky. Oh, my little Cheeky. He is so crazy and trying to get away from mommy. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Say, I love you guys. How do I get him? Bye. I'm so weird. <laughs>